Hey guys, this is Top Capable Channel. We're bringing you step-by-step -step guide to address a problem of your iPhone storage full and it won't turn on. When your iPhone has no more storage and does not start up, you should see its screen stuck on Apple logo, which sits there for hours even during startup. Mostly likely you're worried about the data you might lose with your stuck iPhone that you can't get access it. Don't worry. I understand you really don't want to lose any important content stored on your iPhone like your photos, contacts, text messages and many more. Now with these two free and simple ways of a force restart and an update on iPhone with iTunes, you can get back your iPhone without losing any data on your iPhone. If you couldn't turn on your phone after doing both two methods, you can also try the third-party iOS system recovery software to get your iPhone back up and running easily while keeping all your data intact. Just find the download link in the description area right below the video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is force restart your iPhone. Yes, that's right, we don't need a computer and a force restart can fix iPhone that won't turn on storage full if you're lucky enough. Okay, now, let's see how to force restart an iPhone. So now, here I'm gonna force restart iPhone 13. If you're using a newer iPhone, or iPhone 12, iPhone 11, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10S, iPhone 10S Max, iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and iPhone SE second and third generation, don't worry, the button combinations are all the same. Alright, let me show you. I'm gonna press volume up button and let go. Press volume down button and let go. Then press and hold the side button until your iPhone restarts. Keep holding on the side button. Now you can see the screen flash the Apple logo and quickly goes to lock screen or home screen if worked. If you guys have an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, you're going to press the volume up button and power button at the same time. Don't let go. The Apple logo will flash off. When it flashes on, release the buttons. If your iPhone fails to restarts, the Apple logo remains stuck there turning off and on. Okay. It keeps doing this all the time and does not seem to stop. Just like my iPhone here. Alright. For an iPhone 6S, 6 or an older iPhone, you need to press and hold the home button as well as the power button. Keep holding for a few seconds until you see the Apple logo again. Wait for iPhone screen to restart. Right now, if there's something to be fixed with forcing a restart, you're going to see your iPhone turning on. See. All data is still on your iPhone. It ain't the end. To avoid an iPhone being stuck on Apple logo storage full, what we gonna do next is to delete data or uninstall apps you do not need anymore to free up some space on your phone. Unfortunately, if your iPhone is still stuck on Apple logo, solution 2, update or restore your iPhone with iTunes. If you guys are on a Mac with Mac OS 10.15 Catalina or later, you're gonna open Finder and ready to update or restore your phone. Now, connect your iPhone to your computer. Okay, I plug my iPhone with my computer using the lightning cable that comes with my phone. You need to connect yours as well. Before the update or restore process, there are going to be the steps to put iPhone into recovery mode. Let me show you how to do this. For iPhone 8 and later models, all right, we press and quickly release volume up button. Press and quickly release volume down button, and then press and hold the side button. Keep holding on it for around 20 seconds. Do not let go even when you're invited to turn off the device. Apple logo will then reappear, but do not let go. Now, as you can see, the connect to iTunes logo or connect to laptop logo is showing on the phone screen. This actually means that your iPhone has been entered recovery mode. If not, repeat the button press we just mentioned. Okay, go ahead. On the iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and keep holding volume down button and power button until connect to iTunes recovery mode screen appears. And for iPhone 6s or earlier phone, use the home button and power button. Keep holding on them and you can see the connect to laptop symbol on the screen. Alright, once your iPhone has been entered recovery mode, 
it could be truly recognized by iTunes or Finder for an update or restore once it gets connected to computer. Keep it connected. Then, we turn to the computer. Launch iTunes or Finder. As you can see, a message pops up here. It indicates that your iPhone is suffering from a problem and needs to update or restore. Here, if you want to recover your stuck iPhone without losing content, you just select update option. Because in case you hit the restore button, it could remove all of your iPhone content. Keep in mind that we don't suggest a restore if you don't have a backup of your iPhone saved onto your computer or iCloud. Now, we're gonna hit update. No need to lose your iPhone data iTunes or Finder just reinstalls the latest version of iOS and get the phone updated so we can fix it stuck on Apple logo if storage is full. You need to wait from several minutes to hours to get your iPhone back on. Once your device starts up, enter your passcode or use your Face ID to unlock it if necessary. Go to check your data, apps, and settings. Alright, everything is there. You have no data loss. However, if the update with iTunes keeps failing, or iTunes gives you an error saying iTunes cannot access your phone, you will be guided back to the iTunes main screen. At this time, make sure the iPhone is still in the recovery mode. If not, you need to enter again. OK, my phone is in recovery mode, and it's connected to my computer. Right now, iTunes will detect the iPhone and delivers this message as well. Here, we hit restore. Keep in mind that this will wipe off anything on the iPhone and restore your iPhone back to factory settings so you can turn it on. Once that's done, you'll see the hello screen. All we need to do here is set up the iPhone. Like choose your language, choose your country and region, connect to stable Wi-Fi, set your passcode or face ID. When you reach apps and data screen, you can see several options to get back your data. If you didn't back up your iPhone, you should get data missing. Otherwise, depending on where your backup stores, restore data to your device via Mac or PC, or iCloud. So far, so good, we've fixed the iPhone without losing data. So, performing a force restart without computer and getting an update or restore through iTunes, you now have two ways of fixing your iPhone that becomes stuck on the Apple logo during boot up due to the full storage. These steps that we take we're going to apply all models of iPhone that gets stuck on Apple logo, won't turn on and storage space is full. One thing when you turn on your phone, you have to free up storage space and remove unused apps and data. That's the end of this video and after looking into these tips and tricks, I truly hope you feel much comfortable when it comes to getting back your iPhone if it's storage being full and not turning on. Alright, if this was helpful. Please like and share, and subscribe. Thank you for that. I'll be back very soon with more practical iPhone solutions. Bye.